Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, we are taking a look here at Activity 115 uh, in APCSP, Project Lead the Way, uh, Activity Run Robot Run. So we've set up uh, in Replit here and we've got, um, what we're looking at right here is Maze 1. So if we stop the program here and we run it, we just got done taking a look at how we could get our robot from the lower left to the gray area. That's the target area in maze one. So we need to um, move into maze two. Now all the mazes, the pictures of the mazes are here in the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to fork this um, project here. Uh, and so we do that by clicking on the file name up here. And then um, in this little three dot menu there is a fork option and it'll ask you what you want to name it so we're going to call this uh, run robot run maze 2. Uh, you'll end up doing the same thing for maze 3. so once we confirm this um, it creates a copy um, and renames it so we can see up here in the url it's run robot run maze 2 demo uh, the code is still the same so everything's identical for to run this we'll see that we still have our code here and we're still using maze one. Okay, so we need to change that uh, to maze two. So uh, in order to do that, we'll scroll down here to line 35 and you can see that the screen has a BG pick method built in, which is background pick. And all we need to do is change this to two. And if we stop and run this now, uh, our code is still there. So our robot's still moving into areas that it shouldn't. There we go. Um, so we can see it's moving through black areas, which it shouldn't, um, but we can see that we were in maze two here. So in maze two, the objective is to get our robot in this from the starting position. Let me go ahead and, and get rid of our, our movement code here. So we get it from the home position. The robot starts in the lower left and we can see that here. And so in maze two, our objective is to get the robot to come up and over to the gray. And then we're gonna have it kind of float down to the position and then it's gonna go over to the right, up, and then to the gray. So this one's really kind of like two challenges in one we've got to solve. We've got to get a robot using only the move function and the turn left function. It's gotta come up and go over here. And then it'll start over down here and it will go to the right, up, and land on the gray area. The, the, that's the end spot we're trying to get to. So let's just decompose this. It's called decomposition. We're going to break down the problem. So let's just get it uh, to go forward and then right uh, and then go to. So it's going to go three forward and then it's going to turn right. And it can only turn, it's only got a turn left method. If These are the only two methods we can use up here. Let's take a look at those. We've got a move and we've got a turn left. So let's get them to move up three. So we put all of our code um, right here between these lines, 41. So let's start by, we know he's gonna have to move three spaces. So we'll start with, actually we'll start with I. It's kind of customary to start with I as a counter. I equals zero while I is less than, it needs to go three spaces, but we're starting at zero. So zero, one, and two. Remember you have to have a colon here and then we want, it, we want to call the move function, which will move the robot. Okay, and then we need to increase our uh, counter by one. So let's test this out and see if we have our robot moving three spaces. All right, perfect. So now we need to, it's facing still up. And so we can only turn left, which means we need to turn left three times in order to go right. So we need a loop that's going to cause our robot to, um, to do something three times, which we kind of have right here. So we can copy this loop, hit enter, paste this, uh, but instead of move, we're gonna turn left. Now we don't really know that it's turned left until it moves forward one. So I'm just gonna temporarily put a move here so you can see if it's facing the right direction. So we're gonna scroll back up. We're gonna stop this, we're gonna run it. All right, so it goes up, it turns three times and it moves one. We really need to move two and we're supposed to be using loops for all of our solutions here. So we need a little mini loop here. So we can again use i equals zero, but this time we want while i is less than two, we want to move and we do need 
to increment our counter. So at this point, the first half of our challenge, perhaps, should be done. Let's stop this and run it. All right. So here we need the uh, robot to float back down here or to teleport down here, however we want to do that. But we've got to get it back to the home position, and then we've got to get it to come up and around this way. So it's really kind of two mazes in one. We, if we scroll up in the code, we can see that its starting position is negative 100, negative 100. And um, we can see that it, it is made to go to the start position here on line 30. So we can actually copy that and paste this here. And if we want, we can actually put in a little comment and put like move robot back to start. And I'm using a slash slash and I should be using a hashtag in Python. All right, good. So, and then here we want begin second, we can call it like route or something like that. All right, so in this case, what do we need to do to get that robot around here? We need to go, uh, it's going, it's facing up, so we need to turn left, oh no, yeah, we need to turn right, so we need to move him to turn left three times so that he's going right. Then we need to move three, and then it needs to turn left once, and then it needs to move four, turn left once, and then it needs to move one. So we need to figure out how we can do that with mostly loops. Okay, so we've already got our turn loop right here. This will turn the robot, so we can copy that and paste that here to get it to go the right direction. Uh, in this case, we need it to move, what did we say? Uh, one, so it needs to go one, two, three. So it looks like three. So we've had it move three before. So we can kind of go up here and grab this guy and come down here. You have to be very careful about the indents so you don't want while loops inside. These are all separate while loops here. So let's uh, stop that and run it and see if we've got it going. Okay, so something has gone wrong here. It's interesting that these two dots are no longer. So I had to move three and then turn left and move two and then the robot goes back to the start, but it didn't leave a dot. Oh, when we moved it back, it might not have been facing north it was going to the right. So when it moved down here, it might have actually been facing right. So let's check it out. Let's uh, let's get rid of this guy and see what happens. All right. It's interesting though that it's not dropping the dots like it did. It's not getting all the way over. something up here. Let's go back and check this out. So it's moving three up, one, two, three, and then I equals zero. While I is less than three, turn left. I plus one equals one. So it should turn to the right. And then I equals zero while I is less than two, move I plus equal one. to comment out and see why that first one's not working. So there it works. And then okay, let me see if I can't get it to go back to the start. Okay. I equal 
zero, y is less than three. It should move three, whatever direction it's going. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. It is working now the way it should. We got it to the gray. It's back. It's moved to these three. Um, we need to turn it left at this point. So I'm going to just turn left. I can just do that once, and then it should be able to do another loop. I equals zero while I is less than. It needs to go one, two, three. So let's try less than four. Move I plus equal one. See if he climbs. Oops, okay, I went one too far here. We gotta back that off to three. And he is going to need to turn left again. And he's going to need to move one. So that should get him. All right, so that is the solution that we can use uh, in order to get the robot to go both of the shortest routes to get to the gray. All right, so give uh, Maze 3 a try. Remember, you're gonna have to come up here and click on um, the little three dot menu and fork that, um, change the name. You could just call it Maze 1, Maze 2, and Maze 3. I'm gonna call this one Maze 3 Demo. Do not forget uh, that you need to come down and change um, your background image so that you've got the right map. You can also get rid of your code here from the previous challenge. All right, and when you run it, you should be set up for maze three. Now, in this maze, um, what the directions are asking you to do is to have one outer loop and one nested loop. So you need to use a nested loop for this one. And you want to go through both gray, well, you want to go through the first gray box and end in the last gray box. And um, the, the other part of the challenge is you need to change your pin color um, once it passes this gray box. So you should have a, I think it starts as a purple dark orchid and you'll want to change that once it gets to this box so that the dots on the other side so think about how you can um, move this robot um, in an inner loop and then use an outer loop to just cause that inner loop to, to repeat a few times in order to get your robot to move up and um, into both of those two gray squares. All right, good luck and uh, reach out if you need assistance uh, for maze three.